This is episode number 11 of the online Playmaker Sessions. This week's episode is with rising star and attraction marketing educator, Dr. Lisa Thompson. Welcome to the online Playmaker Sessions. This is the place for the latest what's working now strategies from the best online playmakers, the top marketers, the rising stars who are making it happen right now. Every week, you'll get real, actionable lessons that you can take and apply immediately in your business, delivered in short 20-minute sessions. Our focus is your results. Here's your host, entrepreneur, world-class trainer, and marketing strategist, Norbert Orlowitz. Hello, online playmakers. If this is your first time tuning in to the Playmaker Sessions, thank you for choosing us. And don't forget to subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. And if you prefer video, our YouTube channel at onlineprofitplaybook.tv. As with all of our episodes, we have all the show notes, transcripts, and actionable tips over on the blog. Just head over to www.onlineprofitplaybook.com. You'll also be able to get access to my complimentary five-video tutorial series on building the proper foundation for your online business, as well as several other free trainings, including my Instant Income Multiplier tutorial. And if you're ready to multiply your results fast, check out the premium membership of our online profit playbook where our guests open up their closely guarded playbooks and walk you step by step through the exact marketing funnels and sales process they use to build their audience grow their influence and make sales get the coveted online profit playbook today just head over to onlineprofitplaybook.com and join the playmakers Dr. Lisa Thompson was born with only 50% hearing and struggled to fit in socially growing up, becoming painfully shy as a result. She graduated with her master's degree in communicative disorders in 1994 and later her doctorate in education in 2006 and practices now as a speech-language pathologist. But in 2008, everything changed when her husband David was laid off and she began her journey to start her own business online. Lisa struggled for several years trying everything, blogging, SEO, email and video marketing. Her prayers were finally answered in May of 2013 when she was introduced to her mentor who showed her how to build her business using attraction marketing and focusing on her natural talents. Since then, Dr. Lisa has generated over 2,000 leads online, shot up the leaderboards in her company, and was recognized on stage as a top producer at her last company's event, and she was able to do all of this part-time while currently working her full-time job. Lisa now enjoys sharing her marketing knowledge and expertise with other aspiring online entrepreneurs who desire to create their own successful online business. This week's online playmaker, Dr. Lisa Thompson. All right, welcome back, everyone, to another edi edition of the Online Playmaker Sessions. And to today, we've got an exciting rising star that I wanted to feature and highlight uh, for you guys. And uh, we're going to have an awesome interview here today with the one and only Lisa Thompson. Lisa, how are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic, Norbert. Thank you for having me on. Awesome. My pleasure. I'm excited to uh, I'm excited for you to, to share uh, some of the, the knowledge and wisdom and, and secrets that you've learned over the last couple of years marketing online and and, uh, and creating results in your business. So very happy to have you. And we're going to jump right into this. We try to keep these sessions as tight as possible, even though I know that that's always difficult because we just love having these conversations and, and sharing all this great value with our audience. Uh, but Lisa, we're going to we're going to jump right in. Um, and I know you've been marketing for a few years now online. And I, what I'd love for you to share uh, with our viewers and listeners right now is for all of us marketers online, there's a breakthrough moment, um, sometimes several breakthroughs. But I'd love for you to take us back to when that breakthrough happened for you that transitioned you from struggling to finally being able to create results. And sort of kind of share with us what happened. Was there something that you did? Was there something that you shifted mentally? Uh, was there something that you shifted physically with what you were doing, the activities you were doing in your business? Share with us the breakthrough that happened to start to get you success in your business online. Okay. Um, one of the big things for me is that, you know, I'm always a passionate learner. And 
I'll take you back a little bit to when I was in college many years ago. But when I was in college, I took my studies very seriously and I loved creating study guides for my classmates because I really thought that, you know, let's all graduate together, let's study together. And I found tremendous joy in learning and then teaching that, you know, via study guides. I never knew how to monetize it back then. But that was good. that was something that gave me tremendous joy and fulfillment. And then once I graduated from school, I began to develop a very disempowering limitation. And what happened was, is I still in the beginning of my working career, working in healthcare as a speech therapist, I would help my colleagues, you know, sharing what I've learned. And then all of a sudden, they started getting success. They started getting compensated. They started getting paid more money. And I was still stuck where I was. And then I thought I began to equate sharing less pain and that they're compensating more. They're getting compensated. I'm not. So I began to stop sharing. And I and that's when I really kind of um, started not having a whole lot of success in that professional career. And then when I was in online marketing, I realized, you know, I was still not getting those same results either because I had this fear that if I share too much, people are going to take advantage. They're going to get successful and it's just going to be a waste of my time and money. Then fast forward, you know, to 2013, November, I was a part of this very special intensive coaching group that you and your colleague, Brian Finale started. Mm -hmm. And that was a five month leadership coaching program. And the very first session that you guys talked about was overcoming these limiting barriers and beliefs. And then it took me back to that time when I really had that joy of just creating and sharing. And then we, and I shared that with you when we had that follow up um, Q and A session. He said, you know, and you said to me, you know, you're going back to that joy being in school and it's your cliff notes. Your content is nothing but cliff notes. So I went back and I had so much happiness after that, that breakthrough that I began to just start creating content on a daily basis. And every time I create a piece of content, I've anchored that with tremendous joy. So I have such joy when I do content that for me, it's like, if I don't create it, I feel like I'm doing a great disservice to my people. And if they are successful now, my new belief is I help them in some way. And so that there's plenty of success now for all of us to share. And if I help them be successful, then I was successful teaching them something with my content. And back in September, I was not flat on my back with a bad upper respiratory laryngitis, couldn't get any content out. I was so sick. And I literally had people emailing me and messaging me on Facebook saying, are you okay? Where are you? So that really shares and, and really describes, you know, what happened for me for that breakthrough that set the ball in motion for me to have the success that I'm having right now. Yeah, that is awesome. I, I remember that vividly, vividly. And, and uh, it was such an awesome moment to, to, to share that breakthrough with you and then to watch you take that and take action on that breakthrough and start to create content. And uh, it was it was a beautiful thing. It's been a beautiful thing to watch and, and, and watch you grow and and uh, award you on stage last year uh, with, with the awards that you, you've received now for, for, for your marketing success. And, uh, you know, it's it's amazing. And it, it's funny because I've, I've interviewed so many different marketers now. And when we talk about this breakthrough moment, so many of them bring up uh, that moment where they started to create content whether it was videos or blog posts, articles, it was them starting to get out there and become content creators instead of constantly consuming content. And that is the big shift that I hope that all of our listeners and viewers uh, take from these, these interviews, uh, this one big shift and, and to get into that content creating mode. So, and, and I guess for you, it was an easy transition, I would say, because you had done it before, but you hadn't done any type of video marketing before. And I see you do a lot of uh, video video training now and, and, and webinars and stuff. Um, how did, did you have any hangups about doing videos and, and, and getting in front of the camera and stuff? I did for the longest time I did. I used to think I wasn't, I didn't look good. I hated hearing myself on, 
on, uh, you know, on podcasts or being on video. In fact, I was so camera shy that I would try to to ditch out of pictures. I mean, my family can show you pictures. I'm like sitting on the periphery. But I began to realize that, you know, it took me some time to get started, but I began to envision like a good friend of mine that I was just sitting across, like we were out for a beer and I was just sharing what I've learned. Mm -hmm. And that's what really kind of turned it for me. And I began to really get addicted to doing video because it was a great way to share and relate myself. I mean, it's the ultimate branding tool that I see because, you know, um, it really builds the know, like, and trust factor and people know what, you know, they want to know who they're doing business with. And Norbert, when I first got started in online marketing, I hid behind logos. I created logos and even had a spokesperson. It was a spokesman who actually was doing my stuff. So that was totally discongruent and a total failure. But the success even happened for me before the, the, the big breakthrough with the content was when I took a picture of myself and I put it on Facebook as my first profile pic. I, before then, I was hiding behind my cars, my pets, and now I put my face out there and everyone's like, oh, wow, you've got a great smile. And I started to get more engagement that way. And that started giving me more confidence, you know. And I think a lot of it, we focus too much as marketers on competence and learning the skill, but we don't develop that confidence. And competence and confidence really have to go together to really achieve success. Oh, so well said. So well said. I love it. All right. So take us into a, a day in the life of Lisa right now in your business. And uh, this is going to be great because I know that you still have a full-time job and you do your online marketing part-time. And I know a lot of our listeners and viewers, um, you know, they're trying to get this business off the ground. Um, part time. So I know a lot of viewers can relate to this. And um, so maybe actually, before we you even share, you know, what your day is like today, um, share with us, what were the activities that you were focused on to get things rolling? Okay, you started creating content, great. But what were the activities that you focused on to get things going? And what do you recommend that people focus on to get things going, especially if they're if they've only got part time hours to devote? Um, the first thing that they need to do is invest in a calendar. And I remember watching a video by Eric Rory where he said, as your home-based business owner, your boss is your calendar. If you don't have that filled up, you're not going to make any money, period. So what I began to do, and I like to physically write things out. I don't have my calendar with me right now, but it's like a little, um, you go to Office Max, get a planner. You get one of those student planners that go from like July to June. And I write down everything that's going on in my day, you know, the times that I'm working, the times that I, you know, I'm eating dinner, you know, I'm, I'm putting down all these times because when things get written down, they get done. And then I take that time once I have all my must, you know, like personal obligations and my work obligations filled out, then I put down when am I going to be working. And again, another big, you know, tip I learned from Eric Rory was is that home-based business owners build their business in 15-minute increments. So I began to start putting down, like, um, for content, like when I first got started, I focused on blogging and doing one blog post a day. So I would devote a weekend, um, usually in the early morning. I've always been an early morning productivity-wise. That's my best time of the day to do content. So I would wake up, you know, people think I'm crazy, but I wake up at 4.30 in the morning on Saturday mornings and I work from like 4.30 to about 10 and that's my time blocked off for content and I can create all of my blog posts for the week and then I just schedule them to go out because then I can devote the rest of my, uh, during the week, you know, um, meeting people, writing out, you know, following up, doing my list and doing other important activities. But I got that content piece out of the way. So that would probably be the biggest thing for people right now is you've got to get in the habit of scheduling your time because if you say, oh, I'm going to put it off, you're not going to get it done. But whatever gets written down gets done. Mm, that's a huge, yeah, that's a huge piece. And especially for people trying to build this part time because you've got limited amount of time, you've got to make the most use um, out of that time, right? You you can't be wasting any time. And I know it's hard online because it's so easy to get distracted, isn't it? I mean, there's so many distractions, our email inbox, uh, our Facebook, especially if we're doing trying to do any social media. 
uh, it's really hard to, uh, to, to, it's really easy to get distracted. So I think the calendar, that's a big thing is scheduling yourself in. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So right now, what, what do you, how do you focus on right now um, to, to get traffic and uh, to get leads and, and kind of grow your business? What is your focus? What's working for you right now in your business? Well, what I started doing is I started doing at the beginning of the year, I call it my doctor is in episodes. And I do it primarily on Facebook because that's, um, for me, Facebook videos are a really great way to get engagement. And I chose Facebook because at the time YouTube was going through this whole flex where I saw a lot of mentors of mine in the industry like Ray Higdon and Mark Harbert, you know, they wound up getting their YouTube channels shut down. And so they were recommending, especially Mark was, you know, why don't you can still do video, just do it on Facebook. So I thought, well, that's a good way to do it. And then I started doing uh, Facebook videos and I do like these little shows between five and 10 minutes long. And all I do is, um, any webinar training I'm attending or any coaching I'm receiving or anything that I'm learning on growing my skill as an entrepreneur, I just share that with my audience. So we do things like mindset. We do things with how to do lead generation. You know, I'm just teaching them things of how they can get people to find, follow and contact them online. And then what really began to work in my favor is I became part of um, some Facebook syndication groups where I can send my videos um, where we like, comment, and share, and then everybody, you know, for everyone that you like, comment, and share, they reciprocate. And then this past summer, I did something which really kind of made me step out as a leader, went out of my comfort zone for doing it, but to help some other marketers, because we were all going to go to this big event in August and help them reach the next leadership rank if they haven't received it yet. And so I came up with my video, Facebook video marketing, but it's my own syndication group, and we have over... 200 marketers in there right now. And basically they come in and you do, you post one video a day and then you like comment and share on five other marketers videos. And then they in turn will like comment and share. And so when you get more engagement on your Facebook fan page that way, the Facebook says, all right, you're getting engagement. We're going to let your stuff stay on your newsfeed longer. And that's how you get more people coming in and, you know, um, and I just add a little simple tweak to my Facebook um, call to action on the end of my show where I say, you know, make sure you like, comment, you know, like my Facebook fan page so you never miss another episode. And then I tell them where they want to go because um, I always give them a call to action to go somewhere to learn more information. I get six extra likes a day to my Facebook fan page and I've been averaging six extra leads just by putting that little call to action at the end of my video. So that's been a really great way. I mean, I have people come up to me even the other day just in town. They're like, I see your stuff on Facebook. And I'm like, oh, wow. I mean, I didn't realize that, you know, I've got some fans here in Minnesota too. Usually I get them, you know, around the world here. But so that's kind of cool. <laughs> that is, yeah, that's totally awesome. So simple strategies on Facebook then. You're, you're basically, um, it's very similar. I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I was listening, we, we interviewed Lisa just recently, Lisa Torres, and she uses videos very heavily on Facebook as well. And, and she was mentioning some of the syndication groups as well. So maybe we'll, uh, is that group of yours free to join or is it? So Absolutely. Um, the only thing is, you know, when the only thing that we have, I encourage people to do is when they come, I have an intro video that walks them through how to do it. And sometimes people, when they go in there, they don't watch that video right away. But that's just something that to make sure that they're doing it correctly. And uh, just a sidebar, Norbert, we had about six or seven people in that, that Facebook syndication group that never did video consistently before hit leadership rankings and are really seeing their business explode just by being part of a syndication group. So it's a yeah. very powerful way to um really grow your business and your brand and and you get people who leave great comments and it's a way to really build your confidence up when you see yeah, people absolutely. really leaving you know positive comments it just makes you want to do more absolutely oh that's awesome i love i love that idea and I, and I love the idea of those groups and we'll definitely leave a link for that group then if, if that's open for other people to uh to look into and join absolutely i can do that. all right awesome so one of the other questions that i like to ask um is uh, is monetization um, because a lot of a lot of marketers um, kind of drop the ball on monetization in many ways. Mm -hmm. you, know, you start to build up an audience, 
um, you start to generate some leads, but then the challenge is in, is in monetizing it. And it's interesting because I know that that's been a challenge for you as well, especially with, with creating free content and earlier before in your career, sharing the content, mm -hmm. sharing the study guides and not getting paid for it. So um, wh what are you focusing on right now to create the, the income and actually generate uh, income and commissions um, for, uh, you know, with, with the audience that you're building? And do you have some of your own products? Are you focus mostly on affiliate programs, network marketing? What's your focus? Well, right now I'm still promoting affiliate products and I do that on the back end by getting them on my list. And then I offer, you know, I'll do like, um, seven emails of value where I'll send them to my, um, doctor as in shows. And then I'll have kind of like a bigger promotional, um, email that goes out. But what I am planning on doing is, you know, I had I did a, a webinar a couple of weeks or back in September, and I'm getting ready to put it together as a package. It's called my Better Brains, Better Business. And I took my doctoral dissertation where I really studied like brain research on how the brain learns and behaves. And I use that, you know, mainly from a healthcare perspective. But when I reread my dissertation again after 10 years, I thought, wow, this could really apply to marketers. So I did a little test webinar um, and I had about 20 people come. I said, I only have room for 30, but 20 came and they loved what I put together. So I'm in the process of putting together, you know, it's gonna be that training with a study guide and a mind map. Um, and I'm gonna be offering that to put on my, um, on my website for people to come in as like an automated webinar that yeah. they can come and they can learn to, you know, some brain research. Cause everyone asks me, how are you so consistent? And it's because you learn how to, I learned how to train my brain to take action. And it's very, very simple. And I share the, you know, the latest research that I learned and people are like, wow, I never knew anything about the brain. Um, and I'm about to do some other product creation. I'm in the process of um, getting a coach to help me with doing that. So I'm pretty awesome. pumped about that. And that's going to be like my big phase into 2016 is really branding my own products. Yeah. And that, that's definitely what I see for you and see you stepping up into the next level. That's really exciting. And I love what you're doing with that brain product, the brain training product. I always encourage people when I when I coach students as well, I always have them take some time and really focus, uh, just like we did with you, focus on the assets that they already bring to the table, the knowledge, the experience, mm -hmm. the contacts, the skills that they already have in their life. And try to think about how can I bring this into my business? And that's such a perfect example. You're taking a dissertation that you wrote 10 years ago, and you're now using that and monetizing that in this in the marketing field. Now, uh, here's the crazy thing, Norbert. I have a five other thing products I can spin out of that too that I'm looking at um, from a leadership series down the road. So it's like, you know, it's just amazing that people do have graduate theses, go back and look at it and you can see things with a fresh pair of eyes and how you can use it to serve your audience. So oh, that's a I love it. tip I have for you. I love it. I love it. That is, that's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Well, listen up. We, we, we want to, we want to wrap this up here. This is some really great value, some great tips, um, some great advice uh, that you've given and, and really sharing with our audience kind of the simple things that you focused on to really start to create results and create success in your business. And I think that's what it really is, is I think, I don't know what you think, you know, now that you're working with a lot of students and helping and training people, but I always feel like people really overcomplicate this online marketing thing. Uh -huh. you know? And if you were to take it down to the few simple basic things that you think people uh, should focus on, um, you know, to the, to the viewers that are listening to this right now, what's your advice? You know, what, what, what are your three tips to, to, to create results and create success? Three tips. Number one, create one piece of content every day. Doesn't matter if it's a blog post, if it's a social media status update, or it's a video. Just do that every single day. Number two, write your list every single day. And so when you've created that content, just have your autoresponder, like I have Aweber, keep that open. And then immediately, once you've published that content, get it out to your list. Cause you're, you know, I'm really pumped after I put out a piece of content and I wanna share it right away. Um, Cause that people can pick up on that vibe when you do that. Mm. And then number three, meet 10 new people every day. And I think when you start getting into, you know, and just finding people liking, commenting on your posts, 
reciprocate back and say, hey, thank you for liking my post. What did you like best about it? And you start to develop those relationships because marketing's built one person at a time. Beautiful. Awesome. Really simple, really simple tips. I love it. I love it. Lisa, thank you so much uh, for joining us. And I'm, I'm excited for our, uh, our premium session that we're going to record for the members uh, because you're actually going to walk people through the simple process that you, that you use uh, to actually create capture pages, opt-in pages uh, in order to be able to, to generate leads and build your email list. And of course, that is one of the fundamental pillars of online marketing is building your email list. And for a lot of marketers out there, they get kind of uh, confused and, and they feel it's a complicated process and that they're not ready for it. But I'm excited for you to share with us the, the really simple process that you use, even if you haven't created one ever before. Um, so I look forward to that. Lisa, thank you so much for being here and, uh, and sharing your experience and your knowledge. And we're definitely going to leave some links down below this video on the blog uh, where you can get in touch with Lisa, connect with her uh, Facebook group as well. Uh, for syndicating content. Lisa, thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. I'm glad to be here. Awesome. Awesome. Our pleasure. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this session. Uh, be sure to subscribe on iTunes as well, and we will see you next week for another online Playmaker session. I hope you enjoyed this week's Playmaker session. If you love the session, subscribe now to our YouTube channel so you never miss our weekly episodes. Be sure to also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Just type in online playmakers in the search bar and click subscribe and be sure to leave a five-star review. All of the episodes, show notes, transcripts, resources, and bonuses are available on the blog over at onlineprofitplaybook.com along with several bonus free tutorials I've created for you as well. Your fast track to results is to follow the playmakers. You can download their closely guarded playbooks and follow them step by step to grow your influence, build your audience, and create results in your business right now. Head over to onlineprofitplaybook.com and join the playmakers to get full access today. Thank you again for joining us today and be sure to tune in next week as we bring you another power-packed session with the top playmakers online. This is Norbert Orlowitz signing off.